Look at this. Just grappling him all the way home. Look at how aerodynamic he is. Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to Get Jacked here in Ark Survival Evolved. Now, as you can see, I went out, got us a Pelagornis so that kind of use this on the pond and stuff because you can actually land these on water and use them for that. I'll kind of show you something cool about that in a second, but in the last video we went out, we got our Dilos and our Dodos to start kibble and whatnot. We began the farm but didn't grow anything because I wasn't going to use just poop because I actually don't have that many dinosaurs to go around collecting it from, unfortunately. So what we do have to do is get a Fiomia because, I mean, once you feed those things stim berries, they just go crazy and just poop a lot, you know. So we're going to first get, oh, okay, perfect. Oh, god dang it. Oh, dang it. All right, hold up. We'll go. <laughs> little detour let's go under here so well anyway talking about this area this is where the dung beetles are gonna go so first we got to get a fiomia because once we get dung beetles we still need to pump poop into them to make always oh, on wander you just you stay right there I think it'll be all right so we've got to fill up this farm with fertilizer it's not it's just bare and empty I know it looks looks all looks horrible so anyway we've got come up the back here all right so anyway We've got to get our Fiomia so that we can get poop to give our dung beetles to get a ton of fertilizer and oil as well. Because that that will be nice. As well. You know, you know, oil could be useful. So, anyway, I want to show you something down here. But then we're going to go out and do that. Because we need to get dung beetles to get this farm going so we can start, you know, cooking and whatnot. So, let's see here. Let's go over by this, this beaver dam. I'm not gonna grab it. I'm not gonna grab it <laughs> because they they do aggro on the walls and stuff They don't damage them, but it's annoying. But so anyway as you can see if you throw them on wander and get over here, Let's put them right in the middle. He's not too smart. They're, they're not too good at wandering So there we go. We'll throw him there and check it out He'll just kind of stay on the surface of the water. It won't fly away uh, unless it's attacked but he'll just kind of float around, which is really cool. I want to kind of fill up this pond with a bunch of these guys. Kind of look like ducks over here. But this one's, this I think this one's broken. See, he's not too smart. This is what he does pretty much every time I put him on wander. I don't think he can be trusted, but he just kind of goes around in circles like an idiot. I don't know what's going on there. So, anyway, what we got to do is we got to go out. We got to find up a Fiomia because the Redwoods are so dangerous, they don't even exist here because they get killed right away. All right, so on my way over to get the Fiomi, I found this loot crate. What and what the heck is going on with this? Look at how deep it is underwater. Why is this here? This better be something good. We got what? <laughs> okay, so if you didn't need one water blueprint, you definitely needed two water jar blueprints because that makes sense for some. Like, why did I even stop? I should have known. Alright, so here we are. I found a Fiomia on this remote island. And it's level 90, so that's really nice. But, like I said, in the Redwoods, there just aren't any of these, really. I haven't seen any around, so I had to search really hard to find some. So, I'm gonna actually bolo this guy down, and then we're going to throw these down, and we're gonna do a little, little cage around him. Because if I shoot him, he's gonna run into the water, and we're never gonna see him again. So, we need to cage him up. I wonder how long this bolo is gonna last. Boom, right there. Should we throw another one? I'll just do another one just to be safe. They're pretty cheap. Stay. Okay, so we'll, all right, we'll throw these down. And I'm just going to cage them up. And then we'll just knock them out. Because I really don't want to spend any more time searching for another one of these. So we'll throw... Oh, hey, stop. I think we're good. I think we're all right. We need to throw like two more. Wait, oh, no, no. What was that? Oh, I thought he was going to get out because of that. I must hit the wall or something. All right, let's just throw these down before he escapes. Perfect. You ain't getting out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Perfect. All right, so we've trapped it. Oh, how do I get in here? I think I, get, <laughs> if I, think if I get a running start. Let's go over here. Running start and... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Broke. All right, so let's uh, repair that. 
And let's beat him with the club. See how this goes. I don't know. I, For some reason, I've just been using... Mostly because the club has been in my, you know, inventory. I haven't taken it out of the slot. That's why I've been using it. There's really no point to it. Okay. Yeah. I don't think he's going to go down with a club. I've got, I've got arrows. Don't worry. I'm just using this for now. So, let's see here. Let's just start uh, darting him. He should go down soon. You a little sleepy? Go to sleep. This this cage was pretty effective, though. Not gonna lie. This thatch wall is holding this guy in. These guys are really annoying to try and run down. Although, I probably could have just bullied him and shot him with <laughs> arrows as well. But, I mean, you gotta make it a little bit more difficult. Go down right there. Oh, yeah, that was the sweet spot. Perfect. All right, so now I've just got to tame this thing up. They're pretty, pretty easy. I mean, they eat berries, like, really fast, so he's already probably going to start eating these. I'm going to break down this wall so that uh, it's not just chilling over here. I don't want to disgrace the land with this. So let's get rid of this crap while we tame this. So let's see here. I'm also going to look around on this island because this guy's going to take a little bit of time to tame. And I need other stuff, too, because I haven't seen any trikes or anything like that. Why does the, why does the demolish move off to the side when it needs to be repaired? It's, it's kind of annoying. All right, but anyway, let's see here. We've got this trike. What are you? Ooh. Hmm. We might want this guy. What is it? Level 55? Might as well. Come here, you. All right, so we're... Wait, why is this one 55? I... Th what? Does that say 55? Because that's an odd number. I don't... That doesn't make much sense. I thought they only spawned in... Oh, let's hit him. Yeah, go away. Could always use another one of those. Yeah, but don't they spawn in, in even numbers? Did they change that on the center map? Because I don't remember seeing any 55s. So anyway, we're going to knock this guy out. Oh, he's down. Let's see if we can find anything else. We might as well make the best of our time. We need a lot of stuff. Anything else over here? Maybe like a really high level trike? Possibly? Where are we going? Let's go check out this. This is a pretty big island, actually. Let's go check out this side. I know there was another one. Oh, there you are. Come here. I don't even know what level it is, but I don't care. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to get these home either, so... That'll be fun. But anyway, we're going to knock him out. So we'll be right back once I've gotten these uh, tamed pretty much up. Uh, okay. Yeah, you better run. <laughs> I don't know what he's scared about. Okay, but anyway, uh, I've got the trike down. He's still kind of like halfway tamed. The Fiomia is done, so that's good. I also got this Dilo here who's, who's going to be attacked now. Hey, he just shot you. Kill him! I'm gonna let him kill him. Get him. Oh! No, stop. Oh, Fiomia, help out. Perfect. But this Dilo tamed out at level 204, which is ridiculous. I love how high the levels are on uh, the center map. It's kind of crazy. Uh, but anyway, good job. Your first Dilo kill. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's just staring him down. Yeah. <laughs> what? Alright, so... Tamed up everything, finished it all. I, I didn't want to film too much of all of that because, I mean, we're just taming, you know, basic stuff, so I'm not trying to bore you to death. So anyway, we they've made friends with trilobites, evidently. I don't know if they just got stuck under there or what's going on with that. So now I just got to get these back somehow. All right, so I've been just kind of having them follow me across the ocean and uh, not working too well, I'm going to be honest. They're being followed by a lot of sharks, so... They are starting to get quite bloody. I hope they make it. I It would be really nice if they actually made it because I put a little bit of time into these, so that would be great. But anyway, we've got the Fiomia safe, uh, so we're for sure getting this guy back. Now the question is, will these other ones survive? Alright, we've made it. Look at this trike. Oh my god, it's so bloody. But the level 188 trike made it. The Dilo somehow made it. I think I think he was a little bit faster than the shark, so he was he was all right. Uh, we're gonna grab some berries so that I can give some food to these guys because they're they're just so close to dying, 
and uh, I'm, I'm honestly scared for their health. So we need to get these guys over here because I, I swear a terror bird is just going to run out somewhere because they're constantly just swarming this part of my base and uh, they're going to kill these guys before I can get them, you know, fully healed. So first we also need to get some poop because it's important. That's why we got this guy. He need, he need to get poop. So we'll grab some of that. We'll pump his food. Oh yeah. We're going to feed you well, my friend. All right. So we've got, we'll grab that. Get all these. And now I can actually start a little bit of fertilizer because I would like to start some bug repellent. I know it doesn't help with dung beetles, but it does help with the other stuff in the in the base. If I have time for that, if not, I'm not too worried about it. We're just gonna go in and grapple all of the the um, dung beetles and just kind of pull them out of the cave. Cause that's the best way I found to do it. With I don't have cave flyers enabled, by the way, so I'm not. I can't actually just fly in there and pick one up because. For certain parts in the caves, they're designed for you to kind of be walking on foot. So I kind of, I want to keep it that way. So cave flyers aren't on the server. So we have to do this, the grappling hook way to get the dung beetles. So we'll plop this guy down right here. And uh, time to get some dung beetles going, finally. Okay, so I'm swimming through the cave. It's about as far as I could go. So I've got my grappling hook. So I'm going to, oh god. Oh jeez. I, I was really dumb and I didn't bring meat. And I'm really close to dying, so I really hope I make it out of this. Oh, jeez. If there's, like, one more piranha, I'm, I'm done. So, I oh, I guess I can grapple the ceiling. Yeah, let's stay out of the water. So, I'm hoping, hoping that there's a dung beetle at the beginning of this. Because this, this part's usually pretty filled up with stuff. So, there should be, there's usually one or two dung beetles over here. So, I'll grapple up here, see if we can get a good look. And, oh! Oh, that was bad. That's more health off. Oh, crap. Uh, we're going to have to dodge. I, d I, d I really should have prepared more for this. I, was I wasn't really thinking. So, I'm going to grapple this guy. Oh, I just missed. That's not good. So, I'm just going to continue to dodge that. Oh, we've got an Arthropleura over here. Scorpions, please do not sting me. And then we'll grab that guy. Perfect. And now we're just going to dip out of here. Okay, I think we're good. I th I'm not seeing any more Mega Piranhas. I think that one must have just came in from like outside. So I've got the uh, bird out there. That's as far as I could really bring him into the cave before it kicked me off. So we've got the dung beetle. Not bad. So I'm hoping to get at least two or three more of these. So I'm going to grab them, tame them up there. Fat, you feed them with the poop. And once you've got them in a taming pen and you can kind of sneak up on them, they're not too bad. So this is how I found to get that. Oh. He's, did he just attack the bird from underwater? This, guy, this guy's got some talent. All right, so we've got our dung beetle. Let's get this thing home, and then I'm going to have to actually keep coming out here and getting more until I've gotten at least three total, I think. So I'm going to do that, and uh, let's do this. I'll be right back. Look at this. Just grappling him all the way home. Look at how aerodynamic he is. All right, so got... Uh, our berries a little bit of stem berries at least so that we can feed our fiomia i've gotten a bunch of dung beetles as well so finally this farm is coming together i didn't want to just so every time i build a farm in arc i don't do this i don't get my fiomia and my dung beetles you know i get maybe one and then it dies and then my farm dies and then i never put it back up so what we're doing is we're preparing fully ahead of time so that this farm just stays fully active. <laughs> so anyway, we'll feed up all these stem berries. Keep, keep pooping, keep pooping. All right, so we need, we need to get all of this this poop so that we can give it to our dung beetles. All right, let's grab all this. Is that good? Nah. Let's throw in some more. F yeah. Let's actually just do all of these. See, I don't know if I think I feel like if you do it too many times, uh, some of these glitch and and maybe disappear or something. So only try and do so many in, in short bursts. Otherwise, they start to kind of shoot all over the place. All right, so we'll jump down here and here we go, dung beetle. Let's throw wandering on you and wandering on you, and we'll start filling them up. So let's see here. They might have a few levels here too. Let's throw all the weight in here. Perfect. And then... 
Can we just fill you up? Okay, they can actually hold a lot more of the medium than I thought. So that's great. So these are going to give us some oil and a bunch of fertilizer. Now we don't have to worry about that. Oh, what about you? You can wander too. I don't know if they're actually going to wander on the ceilings, but we will find out. Oh, you want to contribute? Thanks. Oh, he's got two more. You're so effective. Oh, that one just, just disappeared. How horrible. Alright, so that's that. Let's keep pumping this. We'll finish up all those, and then this is what we've got. So, this should give me plenty to get this going and have all of our good crops going. Let's throw these into this guy. Boom. And we should be good. Oh, you can't hold anymore? Let's pump the weight. Now, you just gotta pump weight on these guys because really the only use is fertilizer. The level doesn't really matter. All their weight was under... No, regardless of their level, their weight came out to below 10, all of them. So, it doesn't really matter what level they are. So, we'll jump up here, lock them in, and now they can produce fertilizer. So, farm complete. Check it out. I guess it, it isn't really any different than before, because I still got to plant the plants. But, I mean, you know, in theory. So, anyway, that's where we're going to stop for today. In the next video, I think we're going to be hitting up the platform over there and be doing probably a full build on that thing. So, if you like the video, definitely hit that thumbs up and or subscribe for more content. Otherwise, you all have a great rest of your day, and we'll catch you next time.